Using Themes and accessing your mobile site through the web browser is one way of accessing Moodle. Another is using an app on your device. Apps can provide excellent functionality and integration with Moodle, and Moodle have just released the new HTML5 mobile app. So the new official mobile app has just been released to the Moodle community. It's available on Apple iOS and the Android operating system. The advantage of this app being produced using HTML5 is that many organizations external to the Moodle core developers will be able to customize the app and also create plugins and add-ons that the community will benefit from. We're going to look at some of the functionality that is available in the new app and we'll show how this can be used to benefit our learners. It's created using a responsive design, so this will enable it to work across the range of mobiles and tablets on the market. There's only one app available in the App Store, and this will arrange its layout dependent on the device. Designers can add external CSS, which stands for Cascading Style Sheets, to add their own look and branding to the app. So I've added the app to my iPhone so we can see how it looks. So this is the page you have before you log into the site for the first time. So at the top is the Moodle installation you want to connect to, and that needs to be Moodle 2.4 or above, and also the username and the password box. So this is the main screen. There are two main sections inside the app, the uploads and courses. The other options below these are related to settings in the app and a link to access the site through the web. The upload section gives you the opportunity to upload audio, photos and videos recorded on your mobile device and upload straight into your private files area. Now, every user has a private files area and we will look at this in more detail in chapter 2. Course content is a key aspect of any mobile learning. This section shows all the different activities that are available in your course. When I've been testing the app, most of the activities tend to take you through to the web version of the activity, but I would envisage that future releases will integrate this more into the app. In the participants area, you can see all the different people that are enrolled in your course. This will help the participants communicate effectively with each other, as they will have the ability to message each other through Moodle messages or through the email address they've registered with the Moodle course. Future releases will have push notifications, so any message coming through to you will be delivered to the front of your phone. So the new HTML5 Moodle app gives users a fantastic tool to be able to engage with mobile learning with increased functionality. It's a free tool that's easy to set up and offers increased possibilities for mobile learning opportunities. And as uploads link straight into the private files area, it gives really easy access to a large amount of different learning activities. In the next video, we'll have a look at the other apps that are available to access Moodle through a mobile device.